I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop. This is a Lenovo ThinkPad P14 Gen 1 laptop and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can add or remove the RAM on this one. We have upgraded this laptop to a 16 gig RAM and it is possible really easily and I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that. And if you check on a Windows Task Manager it will say that you have one out of two that means you have two RAM DIMM slot inside the computer but that's not true you only have one ram dim available the second ram is solid on the board so you can only upgrade one dim and i'm gonna show you in this video so first thing first you want to power off the laptop completely you do not need to disconnect the battery or go to the bios to disconnect the battery from the bios is absolutely not necessary but as long as you power off completely you're fine First thing first, we're gonna grab ourselves the screwdriver set. I'll use the iFixit screwdriver set. We're gonna be using a Phillips number one. And if you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, get the basic set. For the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. With this tool on hand, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws down here, they have a little C-lock on them. That means the screw will not come out entirely. You just have to loosen up the screw, just rotate a few turns, and that's it, leave it there. You're gonna feel like it's loosened up. Do this to all the screws, the one in the middle too. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once we loosen up all the screws, now what you wanna do, you wanna grab your opening tool, in this case, the guitar pick. Let me see if it's gonna focus, there we go. And you wanna stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. And you wanna stick it right in there and you just wanna just twist a little bit and you wanna hear that click sound. You wanna do that all around in the front end, work yourself, see that tiny opening in there, you can open up the screen if you want. I'm just taking it there and I'm just peeling it off, like just doing twisting motion. And those the clips are getting loose. That the sound that it makes, the big click sound, that's fine. That's what you want to hear. You did the front, the left, and the right. On this side, you want to do, if it's going to focus, come on, focus, focus, there you go. You want to stick it right in here and you want to peel that one right there. And where the fan, the heat sink is, and go all the way to the corner right in the corner. Once you did this side, do it exactly on the other side. Same thing here. I'm just going to peel it up. There you go. And all the way back. Now we're going to close up the screen, put it face down, grab the bottom cover from the corners, wiggle it around, and it will come up. And once it's out, now you can see the battery and the one single RAM is right in here under this plastic right in here. We had an 8 gig and the second DIMM is not available in here and there's no space on the other side, obviously. All right, to remove the uh, RAM, you don't need to disconnect the battery. Absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery. As long as you power off the laptop, you're more than fine. But if you want to be part paranoid, you can disconnect the battery, disable it from the BIOS, or you can just pull back this flip thing, slide it toward the back side, towards the RAM, like that and the battery will get disconnected. But again, that's not, that's not important. Don't need to, when you put it back in, make sure you put it straight inside the connector. Right like that. All right, to disconnect the battery, what you wanna do, you wanna pull these triggers on the side and this one right in here, away from each other, and the RAM will pop out in 45. Let me rip this out for now, so you guys can see. There. The RAM comes out in 45 degree angle. What you want to do, you want to grab it in the same 45 degree angle and you want to pull it, slide it backward. Do not yank it upward, otherwise you're going to crack the RAM or the DIN. These are a DDR4 RAM. These are 2,666 milli, milli hertz. You can, it's 8 gig. The other 8 gig is solid on the board. So when you get the new RAM, uh, I made a very short video to check your maximum RAM capacity. If your RAM, your laptop supports up to 32 gig, you can get a 16 gig stick plus 8 gig on the board and it will get near towards the 32 gig. But in this case, the client wanted a 16 gig, so I've got another 8 gig and make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right on the DIMM. 
So if I try to put it that way around it, it will not go through. So you want to bring it like this in 45 degree angle inside the jack all the way inside and then simply push it towards the motherboard and you're going to see these two triggers open and close and make a soft click. That's what you want to hear. Once you have the new RAM in there, if you have ripped this power up, go back in. If you have disconnected the battery, plug it back in, it's straight in and grab the bottom cover, place it right on top and you squeeze the corner, the sides and make sure the front too. So you just want to pinch the front end just like that and just tighten up the screws. Once you put the new RAM in there, when you power on, it might take 5 to 10 or up to 15 seconds, not longer than 15 seconds to do a mem check, which is called a memory check, and it should start posting and it should get into the windows. Again, if you want to check your maximum RAM capacity, I'll leave that link in the video description. You can check yours and see what's the maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. But from what I can tell you, you only have on this Gen 1, only one RAM DEM available. There's no two RAM DEMs. All right. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. And if you see any gaps opening like this, you just want to pinch them together and it will go to its place. And that's it for today's video. I'm going to power on uh, so you guys can see it. Uh, there we go, we have the Lenovo. And it should start loading up the windows. There we go. So I can go Control, Shift, Escape, Task Manager, and inside the RAM, I have a 16 gig. And if you see in here, it says slot, two out of two slot, but I only have one slot because it's detecting the onboard RAM as I have one dim, which is soldered on. And that's it.